name is Selena Herrera, and I'm a senior biology major with Community Action and Social Change minor. My name is Lady. I am currently a first year global public health major with CAS and Spanish minors. Dr. Guevara here. I'm a professor of English in the Division of Literature and Language, and I direct the minor in performing arts and social change. My name is Nyung Pham. I am currently working for County of Marin as support service worker and case manager. I'm also serving as a call representative for the COVID-19 hotline. My name is Melissa Potts and I'm the ESL senior manager at Canal Alliance. My name is Kendra Woodglass. I graduated from DU in 2014 and I'm currently living in Spain. I teach English. Since we've been in quarantine and the schools have been closed for a couple weeks, here in my online classroom, my name is Sean Cole Woods, and I'm the Academics and Admissions Director for Next Generation Scholars. My name is Julia, and I graduated from Dominican in 2017 with a BS in Biology, and I was part of the service learning program all four years. I'm currently a first year at UC Davis School of Veterinary Medicine. Mike Taylor, Principal from Coleman Elementary School, wanted to give a shout out to the Dominican students who helped out this last fall and into the spring and winter with us, and we know you'll be back next fall. We hope everyone's safe, washing your hands, staying apart, all that good stuff. during these crazy times is my sweet puppy Bochi. We played a balcony ball the other day. We have a little stress basketball that we threw from one balcony, tied it to a string, threw to our neighbor's balcony, uh, and then we threw up to the balcony above that, and then the neighbor came out, we threw up to their balcony, and we ended up just playing with this ball. Don't worry, afterwards everyone washed their hands, but we just got to connect on this whole different level. What brings me the most joy is my family, my dog, Clooney and my friends. Right now, the thing that's really bringing me joy is learning about my neighborhoods in a different way by taking daily walks and taking pictures of all the flowers that I see. What is bringing me joy during this quarantine is being able to spend more time with my mom in the kitchen, currently making El Salvadorian tamales, which we have a lot here. So one thing that I have been doing to still continue my community engagement during this quarantine is by volunteering my time at health hubs for Marin Community Clinics as I help distribute food. And it's just one small thing for me to do to just still be able to be part of my community and feel like I'm making a difference. Our students are vital to our organization specifically right now because they represent hope and resilience. They are our social justice warriors out there on the front lines of their communities and in their homes, making sure that to whatever capacity that they can, that everybody is safe, sound, and secure. Ultimately reminding everyone that to our community members, NGS is just a huge family. There's been a lot of community building that I didn't think I was going to see or I just didn't expect. We now have a pulley system from our balconies in case we need to exchange goods. Uh, we go out every night at 8 o'clock to clap and applaud for the doctors and nurses, everyone who's working in the hospitals to try to get us back on track over here. I was and still am a service learning student. I believe in the mission and value of the service learning program because I believe that students should be engaged in the community and learn from the community. Now more than ever is when I see what community means to me, which is being able to help and give a little of myself and time to the community that we all belong to, um, and especially spreading positivity in these difficult times we are going through. Um, I really like working with Dominican service learners because they help our students in the ESL department feel a part of the community in a way that they don't normally get to. And the faces of the students when they really connect with the Dominican service learners is amazing. They're unbelievably grateful and everything that I hear back from them is always, I'm so happy that they want to work with us. I think. In many ways, this pandemic has emphasized our collective vulnerability more than ever and shown how the public health and well-being of our community depends on the action of each one of us. One of the most important things we know about when children in particular go through times of adversity is having a friendly adult for them to go to. So the more friendly adults that we can have around campus, saying hi to kids, playing games with kids, jumping rope with kids, uh, the better off our kids are all going to be when we get back to school in the fall. So we hope to see you then. Go Penguins and enjoy your time. Stay safe and be healthy.